So real quick with all this like foley and textural stuff, I'm just like taking samples and dragging them in. I'm not like making or creating these like IDM things on the spot. That would just take so long. I have sample packs that I've made. Scroll XO IDM samples. Okay, I just like made these ahead of time. I do use other people's samples too. I'm on Splice a lot. So the first sample pack is doing this. So this is a plugin called XO and I actually won it. Bitbird had a create together thing and if you get on it, you win the preset. So very thankful I got on it with my song. I don't wanna write sad songs anymore. I don't wanna write sad songs anymore. Check this out, this loads in all your samples. This is cool to find samples, but I re record myself screwing around. So here we go, I'll record. I'm just recording audio out of the track and I just do this. And then I have audio of all the shit. So like right now I have this clip and this clip and this clip. And then I have another pack where I did more like post-processing sort of stuff. All of these sounds started as like an Ariana Grande song and I would take a certain part and stretch it and distort it and record it and resample it and add reverb and I just like open up Reaper and just black out. The majority of like the sounds and stuff that I'm using is from this, these like sound design sessions that I do. So if I mute the guitar, just like dragging and dropping what I think would sound cool and doing interesting rhythms. This one is from Splice. And then I edited that into this. If you hear the beginning of this song, most of them are Umru samples, honestly, and it's just a calamity of, there's no timing or anything. I'm just like dragging and dropping stuff together. And I got my tag. This next part, the kick drum, this 808, this death fan. Um, it's all side chain. Uh, I do volume automation. Chop that up. Stinky 808. Distortion, transient shaper, and a little bit of EQ. Bit with the guitar. So real quick, Jedwell, he does all his own vocal recording and processing and stuff. And he just sent me one wave file. Hi-hat, that's pitched down an octave. Usually hi-hats sound more like this, but I like to pitch them down a whole octave. Sounds like kind of evil, I guess. We got the Sophie snare. There's a little like zappy, sort of like breaking sounding, and then the guitar loop. With the 808. Some other little... When I first sent this to Jedwell, he wanted a little bit of like real drum fills. So he sent me a pack of like drum fills and stuff that he likes. I made this preset called Venus Vibes. It's a sample, like a vocal chop, some white noise for texture, and then a sine wave. And it's going through the pitch envelope. You can see if I change the rape, it changes how much pitch is happening. And I have two separate things going on on the right side, thing on the left side, and together. I love that huge chord that sustains. Uh, so I got that. We got a little house topper. And then there's all these glitch sounds. If you know who Oversampled is, he has this free sample pack. The guitar into that. At the second half.
All right, so we added a kick and a clap. This little bass, I didn't make this sound, but here it is normally, and I added OTT, and then some saturation. Usually I side chain with volume automation, but I actually use like an LFO tool. I remember thinking that, that it was way crazier. I guess not, and then it drops into the trap. This is just the same beat as the original trap beat, but I did add another kick drum. I made two kick drums. Here's the original kick. It's a cymatics trap drip kick. And I added this transient, just like a little click to make it seem like the kick had like a little transient. And I just added another kick drum. And then um, I EQ'd a little low end and high end to that. And that's the beat. I'm on my own, I'm on my own now. I recorded these in my little, uh, oh shoot, my little stupid thing over there. And I have my main vocals. I'm on my own, I'm on my own I have left and right. And then I have, I'm on my own, I'm oh my God, I didn't even edit these. It sounds so bad. Okay, let's check out uh, how Jedwell did his vocals. Peace. Hey, my name's Jedwell. I'm the vocalist in the track Kaleidoscope with Scro. So I'm using a Blue Yeti microphone. It's literally just a USB microphone. No Focusrite, Scarlett, or anything like that. Um, no interface. It's just straight to USB. My vocal chain is usually a Fruity Limiter, um, M Auto Pitch. Sometimes some chorus. I use chorus on um, one specific section of the song. <laughs> Right there is where I, I do the chorus a little bit, kind of like make it pop when you like hear that that part of the song come on. I have some OTT on my vocal chain as well, and usually like when I record, I just kind of turn down the highs and like you know make sure that my voice comes through good. Um, I'll have like gain high or whatever, and then these these other these other parts of the vocal chain are just like other things that I do sometimes. For a lot of different changes uh, that Scro made for our final version. It wasn't as compact, so I liked his version a lot more. It made it like way poppier, way catchier. I just like the flow a lot. So these are just chops that I created from the phrase part of the breakdown. And I created the um, static effect using this free VST called Time Machine. It looks like this. All the plugins I use are free. I don't ever pay for my plugins. I don't even pirate them. I just I just straight up like just look for free plugins. But here I have um I'm using Time Machine low quality distorted chip tuning effect. Here I'm taking parts of the phrase uh, breakdown and then just like chopping it up and reversing it and I also am using Caro V to transpose it up. Care of is a type of auto tune, um, and you know, here's the transpose knob. I use it a lot for my like harmonies and like to make myself sound like more robotic, and it's it's got a really cute sound. I love it. And that particular part right there, um, that was low pass by Scro, and it has like this cool effect on it. Um, this actual uh, release version of the track, and um. The effects happening on the vocals here is actually some bit speak. I use bit speak a lot. If you're familiar with like my track Icarus, like I'm using like bit speak heavy on throughout that track on the chorus specifically. That right there, that is the sound of bit speak in application, and it is that plus like a bunch of different vocal chops from the phrase "Won't heal you." You can throw it away, but it comes back to you. And that is all just manual harmonies, just different layers of me going, you know, like. <laughs> all my wants are found somewhere in closure. I just want to find some more composure. And then behind that vocal is um, this other bigger crowd vocal that's like, 
Then how can I explain these dreams if what I want, no what I That's pretty much it. Uh, there's not a whole lot of detail to cover. It's just me doing my regular vocals, a very simple vocal chain. And to me, very simple uh, chops, little glitches here and there. I like the way this all came together. I think Skrow did a great job on the production, really inspired me to like bring out a lot of like fun tools I like to use for this sort of thing. So yeah.